In this video, I want to talk to you about the root causes of gut-brain axis dysfunction and what that means for you. So if you're dealing with anxiety, brain fog, sleep issues, depression, gut problems, tune into this video. As I mentioned before in the other videos, we've talked about the gut-brain connection. We know that the brain communicates with the gut all the time, all day long. And when you have problems in the gut, you can have brain problems, meaning you can have anxiety, brain fog, sleep issues, depression, and other things like headaches. So if you are struggling with these and you've tried a lot of different things, but haven't looked here, here's some of the root causes. One of the main ones is called leaky gut. When we have an imbalance in the microflora, this causes a buildup of endotoxins. And these endotoxins create inflammation. If this inflammation sits there long enough, this can create a, an increase in enzondolin, which then increases the gapping of the cells or the, that are on the wall of the intestinal lining. Now, when this happens, toxins and inflammation and microbes can get across this membrane into the inside of us. And when this happens, you can have a potential for these toxins to spread to the brain via the bloodstream. And you can also have a potential for microbes to spread to the brain as well. Another theory that is, is starting to show up in research is that when you have a leaky gut, something happens to the brain, blood brain barrier as well, causing that to be a little bit more porous. And so this also can allow for toxins to get through to the brain causing problems there with neurotransmitters, with the amygdala and the hippocampus, causing memory issues, anxiety, depression, and things like that. In the gut, your microbes are actually producing neurotransmitters like serotonin, dopamine, GABA, and others. This will have an influence on the levels of these neurotransmitters in your brain. So if your mood is wrong because you don't have enough serotonin potentially, it could be related back to the levels of microbes in your gut and whether or not you're producing enough serotonin there. So what causes this leaky gut? And what causes this gut dysbiosis? Well, we've mentioned these before, but antibiotics, having to use those at various times. If you're having chronic stress, that's not being managed well. If you are having a poor diet that's full of sugars and processed foods and also, if you're being exposed to a lot of toxins, these can all create this dysfunction in the gut, leading to a gut brain axis dysfunction, leading to some of these mental disorders like anxiety, depression, fog, and things like that. If you want to get to the root cause of that, this is where functional medicine comes into play. It takes a systems approach to help identify what's at the root cause of that and deals with those parts of the system that are not working, supports the body in that way, and then allows the body to do what it was designed to naturally, and that is to overcome things and to adapt to its environment. So let's get after some tools and supplements that are gonna help you fix gut and eventually help with the gut-brain axis. The first area you have to look at is diet. Specifically, fermented foods are helpful in building the microbiota, especially the good ones, Things like sauerkraut, kimchi, kombucha, and uh, other fermented foods. But there are also polyphenols that you can use, like your berries, uh, olive oil, and you can use things like bone broth and omega-3 fatty acids in fish oil. Another thing you can look at are inulin, glucomannan, and other uh, types of fibers that will help to feed the microbiome. And then you want to look at also things like onions, garlic, and green bananas that will help to feed the microbiome. By using these, you can help to build a diversity of microbiome and give you balance and also help to reduce inflammation. As far as supplements go, there's a bunch of different supplements that can help. Now, probiotics, there's different strains that have been shown in research to help. Uh, Bifidobacterium in particular is helpful with uh, anxiety. It's also helpful with focus. There's a book called Xenobiotics that I like that talks about the different research that's been done for things like OCD, 
for brain fog, for anxiety, for depression, but a good broad spectrum probiotic will help with this. We mentioned prebiotics already. There are also things that are help with healing the gut lining like butyrate, L-glutamine also helps with it, deglycerinated licorice root, garlic, aloe vera, and a few others. Some other supplements that are helpful with the gut-brain axis are magnesium. This calms the nerves. It is helpful uh, in every aspect of the body. P5P or bioactive B6, also called pyridoxal 5-phosphate, also great for neurotransmitters and for detox and the whole gut-brain axis and methylation. And then ashwagandha, phosphatidylcholine, and other adaptogens are very helpful in helping you to manage stress and modulate the gut-brain axis. Some of the tools that are helpful, as mentioned in the other video, grounding, breathing exercises, sauna, getting sunlight, make sure you're getting good sleep, and then you can do cold showers or cold plunges and other uh, meditations that will help you uh, to modulate your gut-brain axis. Lastly, I just wanna say, remember that you're not broken. You can get help. This is a systems approach that I believe that will help you. And, and there's no easy solution for anything. There's not one med, there's not one supplement that actually helps. It does take understanding what the root cause is and then working from a systems point of view to help your body get back to doing what it knows to do. So I encourage you to stick with it. Don't give up. Keep researching, keep looking, keep being your own advocate. If this is the kind of stuff that resonates with you, like and follow, and we're gonna be posting more videos uh, in the months to come. And you can also check out some of my other videos. You can also check out my link uh, in Linktree there. You can check out my website as well at functionalhealthtn.com. If I can be of help, let me know and take care of yourself.